Okay, welcome back, y'all. My son and I went to two different Dollar Trees today, and we found some interesting and new-to-us items, and then some items I've seen y'all haul for a while now, and I finally found them. So let me go ahead and uh, show you what we got, or he's going to show you what we got. Okay, pick something. So turn it around. So we found these um, robot defenders. Um, they look kind of like Transformers. Uh, you know how Dollar Tree toys are. They don't last very long. They had a whole bunch of different toys. Some dragons and stuff like that. So, he got this gray purple one. Um, and they come apart. Let me show you the back. They come apart into different pieces. And then you can put them back together. So, I don't know. And they're made by Greenbrier. So, they are made for Dollar Tree. And then he got this one. Mm -hmm. So he can battle with him, is what he said. Um, he's really picked up in his mama's habit of getting two of everything. And then we're trying to put all of his stuff into things that he can open and close, including bread. Will you please stop rattling? Because he has a hard time opening things and using twist ties. So I picked up these um, quart-sized bags. There are 14 in these. They are the slider ones because he can do these. He cannot do zippers yet. So I want to try to put bread in these so he can um, maybe make his own sandwiches. I don't know yet. So we, we shall see. Then I found these. I haven't seen anybody post about these. But I think I've seen this dandy pack in like some young yum boxes or some wow boxes that I watched. Because it's manufactured by dandy pack in California. And um... It's a big old eight ounce bag of honey. Bye. Bye. Close the door all the way behind you, please. Sorry about that. It's these dandy pack peanuts and they're honey. So I like honey roasted. I'm not sure how just honey is going to taste. But um, I thought, you know, this is a pretty big bag. I see a lot of y'all get the trail mix that's like four or six ounces and... I just cringe at that. I think that's such a small amount of product for a dollar. And I never get those. Even though some of those do look really yummy. But, um, yeah. And this is just simply peanuts, brown sugar, cane sugar, molasses, honey powder, Arabic gum, and salt. So, I don't know. And it's good to December 2016. So, you know what? Hold on. I say I don't know. Hold on. I will try one out for y'all. So this is what they look like. Let me see if I can get a whole one. This is kind of what they look like. They're a little bit lighter than honey roasted peanuts. Mmm. Mmm. Those are good. They're not quite as sweet as honey roasted. Which I'm sure these are the equivalent of honey roasted. I'm just, oh, they're not as sweet and they're more of a peanut taste than a honey taste. Typical honey ones, you can really taste the honey. And they're more red, but these are, they're, they're <clears throat> really dry. I don't know if that makes sense, but they're just a really dry <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, you need something to drink after that. Mm. Oh, goodness. <coughs> mm. And I don't have... Mm. Yeah. Those really get stuck in your throat. They're okay. I want to say they're my favorite, but I don't know. Okay, some other things I found was this... My first book of stickers around the world. There are four different ones that show on the box. I think four or five. This one, alphabet, animals, and then something else. I got this one because we have um we have that inflatable globe that I got in a while back from Dollar Tree. And then just Texas maps and United States maps that I've also gotten from the Dollar Tree. And so I wanted to do, because I homeschool him, I wanted to do this with him. Um, we also got a passport 
from um, Dollar Tree. I thought we can incorporate this as a social studies or history lesson um, where he could put the stickers and then <clears throat> do like puzzles and stuff. It's all kinds of different kinds of skills that he can do. Um, and this, these are stickers that are big enough that he should be able to get them off by himself. It's going to be really good fun motor therapy for him. So, I thought that was pretty cool. And these pictures are pretty good, accurate detail with colors and stuff. You know how some stickers and just, they're so colorful that they're not quite. So, yeah, I got that one. And then I always buy the loot bags and stuff. And then I always put so much stuff in them that they're, I can't never tie them. I found these big ones and they have like three or four different styles. And, um, there's only eight for a dollar, which is a good deal. But these are 13, 13 by five, 13.5 by 8.75. They're longer and wider. So I thought you could definitely put some stuff in there. Heck, even this um, coloring book would probably fit in there. Because that's, that's bigger than the size of paper, I think. But anyway, so I thought those were pretty cool. And then two cake pans, like always. Um, I always pick these up when I go every time, almost. Because I just went to the Dollar Tree on Sunday. And um, I'm not sure if I showed y'all that stuff or not. Hmm. Anyways, so I think somebody hauled these. I don't know if these were... There was some kind of cases that a lot of people hauled, like, last summer and ages ago. But this, um, I'm not sure if this was it. I found this today at one of the ones we went to. It is a low pro genuine leather camera wallet. And you can put your wallet in there. And they had a pink one, too, but I got this kind of... They call it eggplant online. But you can put your wallet... I mean, you can put your camera in there shows SD cards but what I think I'm going to do is use it let me see if I can take it out of and it is a wristlet as well I think what I'm going to do is use it as either a coin purse or just to carry instead of one instead of a big old purse um, because it's got these two slots up here where you could put your ID and whatnot and then put I don't know lipstick or something in there I thought that was pretty cute. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. And I looked this up online. And one, two stores say $27.95. And then one store was 8 something. And one store was 9 something. And it comes with these. I don't know. Whatever kind of. Instructions. I don't. I don't know. But I thought this was pretty cool. They had this size. And this color, the eggplant color, and then a pink color. And then they had some up and down ones that were like black and brown. I just thought these were pretty interesting. So, yeah, that was a good deal. If that's, you know, even $8 at that price is tab tabulous. Okay. The other one we went to, somebody had posted these in the Dollar Tree group that I'm on Facebook on. Um, I am part of the, I don't know, the Dollar Tree savers. I get emails ahead of time about the new solar dancers and other stuff i had not gotten anything about these i did get an email about the new easter ones which everybody's telling me are the same ones as last year which i think they are but somebody posted these and these are so cute there are there's this one a dragon or is it a dinosaur might be a dragon slash dinosaur a princess one that kind of looks like uh one of the princesses and then, I think there's actually two princesses. And then there's one more that we got. We got this well. He's got a little bitty crab on top of him. It's a solar dancing well. He is pretty dang huge compared to some of the other ones. And the other one we got is, it's called Solar Cat in Boots. So it's a tiger. Well, my son thinks it's a tiger, but it's just a cat, I think. But it's in this adorable, like, sneaker-like boot thing. These are pretty big compared to the rest of them. I always put out something springy or some kind of slot, sign or flag for each of the different holidays and stuff. And I just love butterflies. And I, butterflies. And I thought instead of a sign that says, welcome, I thought I'd put this windsock out. Looks like that. I needed a, well, this, they're calling this a cheese grater, but I needed, like, a microplane 
um, for garlic and whatnot. So I want to try to give that a shot. Um, I'm finally going, I finally found the sesame brittle that everybody's talking about. Let me pause this. Um, I need to reach over and get some stuff. And then I'm also going to come back and show you the stuff that I got Sunday. Cause I don't think I did that on a video. So hold on. I'll be right back. Oh.